Do speaker crossovers affect sound quality? Yes. <laughs> this comes from William in Austrian. He writes, hi, Paul. I have an old set of Paradigm Phantom V3 speakers. I haven't heard of those for a long time. <clears throat> and I'm wondering if it is worth my while to upgrade the crossover. Also, will upgrading the crossover change the sound of the speakers, i.e. soften the treble, increase the bass output? Does the crossover have a significant input into the sound of the speakers? Oh my gosh, yes. The drivers of a speaker, of course, are, are critical. But more often than not, a talented speaker designer can take crappy drivers or cheap drivers and through the magic they perform in the crossover can make that speaker sound great. I mean, really, really great. And the opposite isn't true. You can have the world's best drivers. And if you don't know what you're doing in the crossover, it's going to sound like crap. Speakers are really hard to design. And everything is in the crossover and the cabinet and all that, but mostly the crossover. So <clears throat> you have, uh, let's say, mid-ranges. And, and within this band, or maybe this band, whatever, these work really well, OK? So you've got to be able to make sure that driver doesn't go too high and doesn't go too low. It's at exactly the right volume. It's at the right phase. Because if it's not at the right phase, then where the woofer comes up to meet the mid-range, you're going to get cancellation. And so your frequency response will look like this and like that. And oh, everything is in the crossover. So with that in mind, you want to make sure <coughs> that your crossover is well designed, that whoever designed it did a great job. And Paradigm has great people that do that kind of stuff. So you're already ahead of the game, because they, they make good speakers. That's it, a, a great Canadian company. Replacing the crossover components. Um, yeah, that can make quite a difference. And Paradigm was never known for using really high quality parts. So first thing I would do is replace all the capacitors. But it's important that you use the same value capacitor. <coughs> Unless you know what you're doing, and it doesn't sound like you do, um, it, it don't mess with the value. So if they've got a 10 microfarad uh, capacitor in there, replace it with a 10 microfarad. But you can go to the Parts Connection, another Canadian company, or Mattisound, I think. But just go to the Parts Connection, find the same value parts and get Mundorfs or, you know, just, just go for the gusto with the quality of capacitors, of inductors. Make sure it has the same inductance and, and make sure it has the same DC resistance in that. And so you just want to match those things up. And it may be a little tricky because I don't think you're going to find a schematic. You might, and it may not have all the values you want. So it, it's a fun project, and I encourage you to do it. But I would pretty much stick with just replacing the capacitors, and I'll bet you'll get a really great improvement. OK? All right. Good luck with that. Take it easy. Bye.